Welcome to the New York Farm Bureau Video Discussion Starter Series. Today, we will be talking to new or interested County Farm Bureau directors about exactly what Farm Bureau is, how we are funded, structured, and supported, as well as what a year in the Farm Bureau may look like in your county. New York Farm Bureau is an agricultural, membership-based, nonprofit organization dedicated to advocating on behalf of farmers in Albany and Washington, D.C. We are the largest agricultural organization in New York State. So where do we fit into the organization that is Farm Bureau? The basis of everything in Farm Bureau is our members. That is where all of our policies and ideas start. The next level over the individual member is the County Farm Bureau. In New York State, there are 52 County Farm Bureaus with their own board of directors to guide and direct what they do throughout the year. Each also has their own set of bylaws that guide the conduct of each county. The New York Farm Bureau is the parent umbrella organization that exists to support the counties. We do that through professional staff that work directly with our county directors, full-time lobbyists that keep track of what is going on at the state and federal levels, and a host of support staff that keep the wheels of the State Farm Bureau machine running. At the national level is the American Farm Bureau Federation. Each state, including Puerto Rico, has their own Farm Bureau, and they work together to advance or oppose agricultural legislation and initiatives at the federal level. The Farm Bureau was first started in Broome County in 1911. This was the first chapter to ever exist. Farmers did not have money to spend, local merchants were feeling the loss, the railroad saw lower freight shipments to the area. So together, the local Chamber of Commerce and the railroad worked with the United States Department of Agriculture and the New York State College of Ag Agriculture to establish the New York Farm Bureau. Their mission was to improve the income of farmers and by extension, the economy of the region. From the early days of the 1900s to 1955, the New York Farm Bureau educated and advocated for farmers. In 1955, Cornell Cooperative Extension continued with agricultural education and the new Farm Bureau continued to be the voice of agriculture in New York State. Since its founding, the New York Farm Bureau has been in the business of providing resources that support and enrich the rural way of life. The funding of the New York Farm Bureau is an important aspect of the organization to understand. The State Farm Bureau is funded from four main sources. Our largest source of income comes from our Workers' Compensation Insurance Program, Safety Group 486. This program provides approximately 40% of our yearly revenue. Our investments provide another 20% of our operating income on a good year. Our membership dues also provide us with roughly 20% of our funding. Rounding out our yearly income are a series of smaller programs such as event sponsorships, partner funding, and other minor fundraising efforts. Your County Farm Bureau is mainly funded through a percentage of your member dues payments, along with whatever local fundraising efforts you may do. This is also supplemented with some incentive programs from the State Farm Bureau. New York Farm Bureau has our main office located in Albany. The professional staff is headed up by our Chief Executive Officer, Elizabeth Drybush. Our public policy has four staff that concentrate on state activities and one that focuses on federal activities in Washington, D.C. Our marketing department has two staff members that are charged with designing promotional pieces for print, digital media, and other mediums to support both state and county marketing efforts. Our communications department is made up of three people who oversee all of our press communications and social media content along with our bi-monthly newspaper, Grassroots. Our finance department is made up of two people and they keep the bills paid and also handle the IRS filings for each of our county farm bureaus. Finally, we also have a solid administrative staff in our Albany office, as well as our two satellite offices in Eastern and Central New York that do whatever is necessary to support all of our state and county operations. The county farm bureaus are divided into 11 districts. Each is represented on the state board by volunteer director. There are eight field staff that also support the county boards and their activities. The counties on Long Island have their own farm bureau and are supported by two staff members. 
A year in the life of a county Farm Bureau looks different for every county because of your location, size, membership, and a myriad of other factors, but there are a number of similarities that we all share. After your yearly board elections, your first board meeting will usually be in November. This is the first gathering with new officers and directors. These allow everyone to get acquainted with their new roles in the County Farm Bureau Board in general. In December, counties send their delegates to the state annual meeting to debate and vote on proposed agricultural legislation in order for it to become state policy that can be acted upon. January is a great month to look at the coming year and plan out what programs and activities you would like to complete. If these plans are not made early, the odds of getting them completed go way down. February is a time for regional meetings where information about current state and federal legislative cycle is distributed and explained. The information is critical for when we head to the state capitol in Albany for our annual Taste of New York reception and our lobby day. This is when we meet with your local and adopted downstate assemblymen and senators to explain to them why we want them to support or oppose certain pieces of legislation and budget issues that are on the agenda for the year. The summer is a great time for social gatherings as most fields have been planted and it's not yet time for harvest. We pick the pace back up again in early fall when we hold our policy development meetings with our county members to find out what is on their minds and what they would like to see changed at the local, state, and national levels. These policy resolutions are then brought to the county annual meetings in October where they are discussed and voted upon. New officers and directors are also elected at these gatherings. Hopefully this brief overview of the New York State Farm Bureau has been helpful and insightful. When you have further questions or need greater detail on anything, do not hesitate to reach out to your county board leadership or your Farm Bureau county manager. We are always willing to do what we can to give you the information that you need to do the best job possible to support agriculture in your county and state.